another episode of Learn Wine, Love Wine. Today we're going to talk about pet gnats. Uh, this is the hipster sparkling, possibly the most trendiest sparkling wine in the world. Pet gnat stands for Petillante Naturale. It's effectively the method ancestral, so an, the ancient way to make sparkling wine, the natural way to make sparkling wine. So this kind of method was being made before champagne, before the traditional method. And actually, they say it originated down in La Moue in the south of France. I don't know why I'm pointing down here, but anyway. Um, so this method, how do you make pet gnat? Basically, the wine starts fermenting and a byproduct of fermentation is carbon dioxide. And obviously, that's kind of where you get your bubbles. What they do is when fermentation hasn't stopped, they put it in the bottle. Normally, they you'll find pet gnat has one of these little crown caps. They'll put it the crown cap on and the fermentation will finish in bottle. So the bubbles can't go anywhere and done. You find that generally the alcohol is, is less. Also, you'll find that with these wines, they can't be filtered. They can't be fined. They're generally cloudy. So this is, you know, very little intervention. You get your bubbles. They're not going to be as powerful in bubbles, shall we say, as champagne. Whereas champagne often has six pressures of atmosphere. This is generally maybe two to three. But it's a fantastic way to try something a little bit different and as I already said, a little bit hipster. So today I'm trying uh, the Pet Nat from Ancre Hill Estate, which is a Welsh winery. Now I'm excited to talk about these guys. They are doing fantastic things. You can find them in Monmouthshire in Wales. Everyone talks about English wine all the time and we need to remember that Welsh wine is incredible too. These guys, they have about 12 hectares. They do make... Uh, standard wine shall we call them so they make some traditional method sparkling they've also got some chardonnay and some pinot noir still wines but this is part of their rather interesting range their funky range this is a biodynamic and an organic winery they even their winery is made with the walls are made of straw bales and the roof is alive uh, so they're very much about eco and looking after the land so let's try this. This is a Triomphe. Have a look here. Can you see the grape variety Triomphe? Have you ever heard of Triomphe? This is a hybrid grape variety. So basically they took Pinot Noir with Gouache Blanc. That created a grape variety that I can't remember the name of. And then that grape variety they uh, crossed with uh, an American uh, variety and that they haven't disclosed what that was. This was made in the 1900s and this was created in Alsace, which is in the north of France. And this was in the early 1900s. This is an early ripening grape variety. Um, you can see it's red and really it grows in England, obviously Wales. Um, and I believe the Netherlands. So if anyone's seen it anywhere else, let me know. So this is the grape variety. Did you see all the frothiness? I'm gonna actually let me pour some more. Now, now I just look really greedy, but I wanna. I just doesn't that. Oh, just looks great, right? <laughs> I very much doubt you'll be able to see this slight cloudiness because it's a darker grape variety. But I can't see anything going through the glass. Okay, so this is actually quite clean and it's not too funky, which effectively this is a natural wine. So you never really know with your pet gnats how they're gonna taste, but expect them to be cloudy and a bit frothy. This is like a really concentrated strawberry jam flavor with a bit of baked plum and some tomato leaf. It's quite savory on the palate. This is a very, very dry wine. You've got those kind of, you've got red cherries, but they're very sour. They're quite tart. And that comes from it being quite natural. So at least it's not funky, but it's very crunchy. And the, the bubbles are really, 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 bleh, really refreshing. But there is that little brambly note, a little bit of crushed leaves. That's something savory in there. This would be really, really perfect with a pizza with salami and black olives. 
That would be absolutely perfect because there's a little bit of a black olive tapenade flavor left in my mouth. This is perfect in the summer. Make sure you chill it down. Pet gnats with all their bubbles, they benefit very nicely from being cold, not too cold, but do pop it in the fridge for probably about half an hour and it will be absolutely fine. So drink out on a nice sunny day, try pet gnat, see what you think. The advantage of pet gnat as well, it's made straight away. You don't have to age it like a traditional method, which might take nine months, a year, two years, three years, and you don't have to recuperate those costs. So this bottle, as an example, is $13.99 from feelgoodgrapes.com. A hell of a lot cheaper than some of the other sparkles, and this is certainly something a little bit different. So if you fancy being cool, check out your pet gnats and see what you think. Cheers. Sorry, I should probably, should probably cheers with a glass. Uh, and I've only just started drinking. Um, like, share, subscribe, all the usual. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing? And click the bell thing. There's a bell so you get alerts of all the stuff that's going on when I eventually do post a video, which happens every so often. <laughs> Have a great week. Enjoy your pet nuts and leave me your comments if there's something you want to know about. Cheers.